Okay, let's see if I can finish up the month of June before my husband comes home. I really like to get June finished and get get to July, you know. All right, so uh, Saturday, um, I had a hard time sleeping. My uh, uticarial vasculitis had flared up and the itching and the spots were so bad. And I'm sure it was just the stress, all the stress of moving and um, just, it made it, it did make it really hard. So um, the moving and the, the civil unrest and, and the job change and everything, it was just like so much for my poor body was rebelling. But anyway, so Saturday, um, he had to, my husband had to drive uh, over an hour away to pick up, maybe almost two hours away to pick up car doors. Amazon had backed into his, whoops, truck, <clears throat> or his, his car, and damaged two doors. So they did pay us, um, they were paying us the estimate for fixing it, but he was able to find two doors that matched on the outside and uh, and then we would have somebody uh, replace those for us. So I did um, more packing up in the kitchen and bathroom. Rachel picked me up close to two and we went over and cleaned the condo and then Doug came over and painted, finished the painting. So we all, we got finished, Rachel and I got finished around 4, and Doug got finished around 6.30. So um, at home, Doug and I just watched Next Generation and went to bed because we were tired. Sunday, oh my gosh. Unfortunately, it was not a day of rest for us. We decided that we wanted to sleep in the condo. We wanted to move over enough stuff to be able to live in the condo for the week before everything else got moved over. And I wanted all the the stuff that wasn't the loose stuff brought over. So all that we had left were totes and um, the rest of the furniture that we weren't using. So this was a crazy day for us. So first we ran errands. We went to Shakopee, we got gas, we went to Home Depot for a microwave and a shower rod, we went to Walmart for some things and all these for groceries. Um, and then we went to the con the apartment and put everything away. No, we went to the condo. And so I put the food away because we needed food and Doug put up the ceiling fan and the light fixtures. And we had Wendy's for lunch. And then um, we made countless trips. I'm just like, we had to bring our clothes, our food, our bathroom and cleaning stuff, um, plus our bed, two nightstands, two, our two living room chairs, and the end tables. Um, actually, we didn't bring the end tables till the next day. Um, the last lows was about 7.30 p.m. So we had pizza. And we got to stay in the part in the condo, but we were exhausted. And I made pizza, but I forgot to put the liner under it, and it spilled. Like the cheese dripped over, and then there was smoke everywhere. And we had to open the windows and air the place out. So yeah, interesting. And we so then we had to put the bed together. So it was probably like 10:30 before we even got to bed, and we were so tired and so sore. We did meet our neighbors, like in the condo, the, there's four buildings and our building has like 12 apartments. And so there, the two people, the lady next to us is an older lady named Nancy. And across from her is a younger, uh, a middle-aged, I don't know, 40s maybe gal. And another guy across from us who has also named Doug. So we did get to meet them. Uh, Monday. Oh my gosh, it was a rough night sleeping because I was so sore and um, my leg ached just from all the moving and standing and you know, and I got up early because I couldn't sleep. Um, and Monday Melody started, so I started training her in and I think she's gonna, I, she took, she caught on really quick and I had a, three weeks at least to train her in, but um, three and a half weeks. 
Gary, I did get another Starbucks. Gary brought Starbucks. So let's put that down. So yeah, it was um, training in, started, and doing stuff when I had time. So after work, we met at the apartment and we loaded up a lamp, the end tables, the sofa table, the TV, uh, more food and kitchen stuff. Um, then we had supper and we watched an episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine and um, that was about it. <laughs> And then Tuesday, um, looks like I didn't sleep all that great either. Oh, because our electricity went off. So yeah, we weren't sleeping good last that night either. Um, work went well, still training in Melody. Gary brought us coffee again from Starbucks. So let me get that in here. Um, after work, we, Doug and I met at the apartment, got the rest of the food, a few other things, and then, um, back at the condo, I put away any of the kitchen stuff I had brought, and we had supper, and we watched a little bit of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, because now we're done with Next Generation. Oh, so last, that night before, we started watching the next Star Trek series, which is Deep Space Nine. And we really liked it. And then, um, Doug must have gone to a men's meet. Nope, Tuesday. Not sure where he went. Oh, he went to see his friend Steve. So I did some unpacking and watched some Sweet Magnolia. So that was about it. Wednesday, uh, Mandy brought us Starbucks again. We got treated to Starbucks quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to put that here. And I think I'll just tear off that one piece. And then what did we do? So just the same thing after work. We met at the apartment, brought a few things back to the condo. Um watch some Deep Space Nine. Doug removed our closet doors because we decided we didn't want them. Got the headboard on our bed, so that was good. And I sold my juicer. So yeah, I think I sold pretty much everything I wanted to sell. I did manage to get sold, which was really good. So I was, I was happy about that. Um... Thursday 11, I picked up Starbucks for every, for the front office, and that's five drinks, and I was like, oh my word, that was like $25. <laughs> that's crazy, but they'd been picking it up all along, and I figured I should also pick up some, take my turn, right? Then um, we met at the apartment again after work, and we brought home the dresser for the TV and the hamster. So he was home, and then some more clothes, and then we had supper and watched Deep Space Nine, and then I called uh, Marilyn, my friend Marilyn, and talked to her, um, and Doug, while Doug was putting up the microwave. And then um, Friday the 12th, Starbucks again. So I'm running out of Starbucks stuff, but I'm actually, at least I'm using it all up, right? Uh, Mandy brought us all coffee from Starbucks. And then we had a discovery day, so we had Taco Libre for lunch. So I'm just gonna pull off another Taco Libre thing here. So let's see. Almost. Let's just off part of this. So I'll put that down too. It's nice with the discovery days is when franchisees who are interested or people who are interested in becoming franchisees come and meet with us for the day and try some, see what it's like too. So um, that was nice. Then when we got off, what did we do? Doug had the day off so we had one kitchen cabinet we had to rebuild because the lady who uh, was here before us, an elderly lady. 
um, and she had fallen and went to a temporary care in a nursing home and, and died there, never came back. So um, it was originally an estate cell, I believe. So they painted the walls and new carpet and a new washer and dryer, and we had to paint the ceilings. But the lady had at least one tropical bird of some kind, because the walls used to be painted a sherbet orange, and the ceiling was painted like a cloudy sky. And there were like 13 hooks in the ceiling. And then um, she had all these metal tropical bird plates. So one of the cat kitchen cabinets looked like it had been all chewed up inside from an animal, so we figured that was the bird. So he had to take that whole thing off, rebuild it. The only thing we saved was the doors and then put it back up and, and stain it. So he was working on, on that. Um, so then after supper, what do we do? <clears throat> Friday, Rachel picked me up. Oh, and she helped me pack up the rest of the loose stuff because we had some loose stuff we had not finished. We needed to finish all that packing because the next day was moving day. So Rachel um, and Sadie came and helped pack up the rest. So we finished about 5 o'clock, um, which was really nice. Um, he watched, installed the kitchen cabinet, and then we just watched some Star Trek before going to bed. So then Saturday was the big moving day and we had my son and his fiance helped and two other guys. So we had enough people, their vehicles, plus we had uh, rented a trailer, a U-Haul trailer. So we were, they were able to get it all done. Um, started at 7.30, got it done in four hours which was really nice. And we packed all the totes, went in the dining room, all the furniture went where it was supposed to go, and it was perfect. So um, everybody else wanted to head home except Andrew and Marcy, so we took them to Taco Libre um, for lunch. So I can put a little bit of a Taco Libre thing right there. <laughs> so that was actually really nice. Um, we returned the trailer. And then Doug took about, before he returned the trailer, he just took a bunch of big things we were wanting to get rid of and dumped them off at the dumpster at work because they had dumpsters they were filling with students, you know, stuff. So he was able to do that. And then he got home. Um, I set up my coffee bar. Got to have my coffee, you know. And we did some more odds and ends. And then we just watched um, a show on Netflix called Las Cronicas del Taco or the Taco Chronicles and uh, really good and some Star Trek and then Sunday I oh my gosh I I just had a horrible time sleeping I was so sore from the moving and the lifting and my legs hurt so much and I tried to sleep uh, I, tr I just couldn't sleep so I finally got up and took some Advil and was able to sleep in my chair after a while, so yeah. We watched church on Sunday, and then um, Andrew was gonna do some mountain biking, so he dropped Marce off to help me do some unpacking, and Rachel uh, came over as well, and so they both helped me with the kitchen. And we put up some shelves above the coffee bar for my coffee cups and um, I guess I put it what did laundry watch some taco chronicles and some deep space nine so that was our day Monday June 15th um, that I had three more weeks left at CGI Mandy brought Starbucks in the morning for us and I did sleep better and I helped Melody with more stuff and worked on things when she was working and just I was at the point where I could start um, working on stuff I needed to catch up before I left and she could work and just ask me questions so that was good um, my monitor and hard drive and everything arrived for work 
from working at home, so I ran home at lunch to get that into the condo. Um, oh, and then when Doug came home, we took the car down to the shop to get the doors fixed on it. So we got the check for that, so he was able to pay off the car, which we only owed 2000 on it, and then fix the doors with the money that Amazon gave us. So that was good. Um, that was really a blessing. Um, in the evening, just watched some Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, did some unpacking, like we're, we're just constantly unpacking. Tuesday the 16th, um, oh, somebody, our master trainer came and, uh, Melody and I took him to lunch at Taco Libre. So, let me at least get that in there. Um, what else do I have here? I have so much stuff. It's just craziness, people. Craziness. All right. I had to just, I'm trying to figure out what I got and what's going on. So this is Taco Libre. So let's just tear off a little bit of this and put the rest in here. And let's see. Oh, then what happened? Looks like we finally got our new cable box from because the at the condo they are pay, they pay for the cable which we haven't had cable in quite a few years and they um, are going to be paying for internet starting next month so uh, we finally got that hooked up thank goodness um, I went to sisterhood uh, birthday monthly birthday celebration at a friend's house and we sat outside at their pool which was really nice um, and that was about it. Nothing exciting beyond that. Wednesday, uh, unpack some more before work. And.